Jingle bells, are you listening? In the glade, a snowman's pissing. What are all these people so excited about? Didn't they just go through all this last year? Oh my god, all the thought that goes into shopping. Did I get the right pair of slacks for Junior? Will Stacy like the poncho I picked out? Please, you're gonna hate whatever you get them anyway. It's a poncho. Why bother? How is this supposed to be heartwarming? Robots creep me out. It's like they, they just can't wait to become our mechanical overlords. Oh, hey, Santa. Now, Santa is something that makes no sense to me. You know, we tell our kids to be aware of stranger danger, but then we tell them about this nice old bearded man who's going to come into our house while we're sleeping and leave us presents. Like he's going to give us gifts with no strings attached. There's no such thing as a free lunch. And the sooner kids learn that, the better. <laughs> Look at these people. I mean, they think they're having fun, enjoying themselves. They're kidding themselves. It's an act. You know, the Germans have an expression. Das Glück ist nicht immer lustig. It translates to, happiness is not always fun. Only the Germans would come up with a version of happiness without pleasure. You know, they also came up with schadenfreude and the Holocaust. So, at least they're consistent. Hey kids, this year do you want to celebrate Christmas or Kristallnacht? Better not confuse the two. How is drinking hot liquid supposed to help warm us up? I, I'm cold on the outside. My insides are fine, temperature-wise. Hurry up. Shop your blues away. Don't bother to confront the emptiness of your lives. Consume, spend, eat, indulge. 90% of the world's population lives on less than $4 a day. But that shouldn't keep you from picking up a, a nice pantsuit for Aunt Carol. She's going to pretend to like it when you're in the room. The moment you leave, it's going in the closet, never to see the light of day again. I mean, what is this holiday supposed to be about anyway? Is there any connection to the original ideas? You know, the Christians co-opted the pagan solstice holiday. What does putting an evergreen tree in your house have to do with a, a baby born in the Middle East? Nothing. Woden, the Norse god, he lives in trees. And so we would bring a tree in to honor and, and welcome him. You know, there's no connection to that anymore. We just, we throw tinfoil and lights on a tree and say it's Christmas. It, it, it makes no sense. Even the day of the week named for him, Woden's Day, has been changed to Wednesday. He's completely forgotten. WWWD, what would Woden do? Nobody cares. And don't get me started on the whole Jesus part of this. I mean, a virgin birth, really? Born in a barn? You know, they wrote the story of, of a poor kid who makes good. That's the only way to get the poor people to buy in, right? He's one of you. Come worship. Oh, and by the way, church ain't free. There's no such thing as a free lunch, right? He's born, right, in a manger, and there's a star in the sky, and then three kings show up out of nowhere with gifts for him. One king would be enough at anybody's birth. But three? That's a big deal. And then he goes on to be a carpenter, living in obscurity. Three kings, and an unparalleled astrological phenomenon. But he ends up sanding tables for 30 years? Makes no sense. And Hanukkah? That's just as lonely. Right, what's so miraculous about an oil lamp lasting a week? It's possible they didn't check the lamp to see if there was any oil in there to begin with, or maybe there's a new wick. You know, somebody just developed a new wick, an eight-day wick. A lamp that lasts a week, that's setting the bar pretty low for miracles. Now, Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa makes sense, though. The thing is, it'll never catch on, because it's about family and togetherness. You know, maybe if they added an eighth night of Kwanzaa that was about shop until you drop, then people would get on board. Trotsky had the right idea. You know, spark a revolution, then retire in Mexico. Except for the part about the ice pick through the skull, it's an enviable life. Maybe I'll grow a goatee. Sorry. Thanks. There's no such thing as Christmas spirit. These people are kidding themselves. Frida Kahlo had the right idea. Free love, sleep with revolutionaries. Except for the part about the crippling back pain, it's an enviable life. Maybe I'll stop plucking my eyebrows. Walking in the winter wonderland. Walking in the winter wonderland. Winter wonder, winter wonderland.